Hello. <clears throat> Today I'm going to go through flashing the ESP8266 module with Lua firmware. Um, this will allow you to take your ESP module and uh, actually program it in the Lua programming language. It's a really nice little module. What I'm going to do to what I'm going to use to do this is a uh, an Arduino Uno. Uh, you need one with the chip that's it's socketed so you can pull it out. I pulled my chip out and just stuck it over here on this breadboard to, to keep it safe. Down here I actually have um, a little programming board I built for the ESP8266 modules. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to unplug that for right now and that's why these jumpers are just hanging out here. Um, I do recommend you build one if you're going to be programming a lot of these little chips. <clears throat> so this right here is one of my ESP8266 modules. Um, I have a couple of different versions. Um, the blue versions actually have a little bit less memory. Uh, this here is 4 meg, this here is 8 meg. Um, to me it really didn't matter either way, I've just been using them interchangeably. In this particular case I'm going to use um, a little jumper wire because right, here, right down here this is the positive pin the positive input pin and positive needs to be jumped over to this other pin which is uh, it's labeled CHPD um, but in order for the, uh, the ESP to run that needs to be pulled high so all I do is I run a little jumper over there it also has the added benefit of having now a second positive terminal to uh, to run things off of when you're connecting them up to your project. And I'll show you that in a little bit here with my solid state relay project. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do to program this is I'm simply going to use some DuPont connectors, uh, these little guys. They're going to be female on one end, male on the other, which is worked out rather well for me. <coughs> and I'm just going to grab another one here. So I have a I have five male to female DuPont wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to hook up the ESP uh, to the UNO board. So I'm just going to use brown and red here. Uh, for positive and negative. So right there, uh, positive right here is at the lower left hand corner of the board. Uh, negative is at the top right. And then directly opposite each of those um, on this pin and this pin is the uh, the serial communication pin and I'm just gonna hook these up I can always switch those over here at the breadboard I don't know which ones I hooked up to which so I keep on forgetting it's whatever so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hook her up uh, to my 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino hook it up my positive be careful make sure that you use the 3.3 volt pin and I'm gonna hook the negative up to ground now these other two wires, I'm going to hook them up to the RX and the TX lines. Notice they're labeled RX and TX by the first two pins over here on this side of the Arduino. I'm just going to plug those in. Now, this is very important. In order to put this thing into programming mode, we have to hook up a ground to GPIO uh, zero. So the Arduino is very nice because it has more than one ground pin. It actually has two. So I'm going to plug that in over here. And GPIO zero is going to be um, this pin. Let's see. Hold on a second. GPIO zero is going to be this pin right here. Okay. So on the back side, I'm just going to take that jumper and 
flip it right up to that pin. So now we're ready to program this board. So I'm just going to unplug my power for a second. Now that we got that all hooked up, plug it back in. We should be in flashing mode now. It allows us to flash it. Now hopefully you've downloaded this package. Um, once you've downloaded it, you're going to get a folder like this. <coughs> and a little extract of it and all that. So inside here, there's a flasher folder. So I'm just going to double click on that. Now it has the flasher 32-bit and 64-bit version. I'm running 64-bit windows here, so I'm just going to use that. So right here, notice how it automatically uh, selects a COM port for you. That's the only one I have on the system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit flash. I'm just going to just try this. We'll see whether or not it works. I might have to switch around these the RX and the PX wires here. Okay. Oh, I didn't even have to. I got it right the first time. So now what it's doing is it's downloading the firmware. I don't know whether you can see it, but that LED is kind of dimly lighting over there, the little uh, blue ones. Um, so right now it's downloading the firmware to the unit. And it takes a couple seconds here. I'm probably going to speed this up. And okay, see so we got this little green checkbox and the progress bar is 100% done. Now our ESP is ready to run Lewis scripts. So I'm going to unplug the power to the ESP. And I'm going to unplug that ground wire. Okay, I don't need that anymore. I'm not going to be flashing this thing again. The Lua interpreter is on here. So we are all set now. So now I plug that thing back in, started blinking a little bit, um, and it's successful now via the COM port. So I'm going to close out the Lua firmware flasher, and I'm going to go back to that folder, and inside there there's going to be this explorer directory. There's a guy on the ESP8266 forum who made this. He's pretty awesome. Um, I posted this up in my package just to, to make it easy for getting all the files together. I hope he doesn't mind. Um, and what do you do is you just launch the bat file. You have to make sure you have Java on your system. It's a little bit of a pain, but you need it for the Arduino IDE anyway, and most of you guys are probably using that, especially if you're programming your ESP with an Arduino. Takes a couple seconds to load, especially since I'm running this at the same time I'm running uh, screen recording software. What I'll do is I'll click on that. I pause this. Okay, so this right here is the, uh, the Explorer window. Uh, it has a lot of useful features for you. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here, make sure I got the right COM port selected. I did reset my module. I, uh, I unplugged that ground wire to GPIO 0, and then I unplugged and plugged back in 3.3 volt uh, positive line and I'm just going to hit open here on the COM port so now we're talking to the ESP so if I were to hit some stuff down here like uh, chip ID flash you know chip info all this I know that I have something working the other thing I can do now is I can upload scripts. So right here, included in the little package I put out there, I got some 
different little scripts. So to upload one, you just select it. I'm just going to select this one and open. And what it does is it'll upload on the serial port. You know, it'll just upload that file. And you'll see upload a success. <clears throat> so there it is. I'm gonna, that's, uh, that's how I got my ESPs programmed. And that's how I, I use them. You might consider making a nice little board like this. Um, on my board, I made it so that, I'll show you here real quick. I'm going to unplug this ESP. So let's plug this back in. in the right order. Okay, yep, working. So, my little circuit board here has a, a push button for the, uh, for the positive, so I can turn the chip on and off. Okay. I have a switch here, which is connected to GPIO 0. Um, and actually, if I pull this off, Okay, this, uh, this switch here is connected to GPIO 0, and it allows me to switch GPIO 0 between rounding it to put it into programming mode, or to break it out onto these pins here. So what I did over here, these two pins are GPIO 0, these two pins are GPIO 1 or whatever it is, the other GPIO pin from here. Um, I also went and I put these two wires uh, going to the same spot, the same pins on the header um, for these, uh, for the positive and for the CH, uh, whatever it is, the, this pin. So this allows me to program my ESPs. It's worked out pretty well. I like to be able to go and just plug in here on one of these pins and hook it up to my power and be able to use the thing with like right here this here is a uh, a computer LED for for indicating power I just I stole this out of a computer you know it's easy easy to get and they come nice with these little uh, ends on there so they work great with my male to female uh, uh, jumpers so there we are, and I'm going to uh, post up some more at some point here.